Can I ask you a question again? Um, do you want to tell me more about your involvement with the Baha'i Faith and how it affected you and your life and your work and how you came across it? Um, there was a man named Paul Monka who now lives on the Big Island looking for my sister. And uh, she had moved out of our house in Beverly Hills, but I was still there taking care of the dogs and the house, and that's all I had to, as a place to live. And so when he, she wasn't there, I said, well, you could, you're welcome to have some tea if you want to come in. And so we were sitting and talking, and I was explaining how I had had a sudden awareness of the secret of intelligence, how to tap into the full potential of the human brain how you can utilize all the remaining hypothetical 90% remaining unutilized part of the brain. And so I said I'd been looking, I'd gone to UCLA studying paranormal psychology, altered states, the brain revolution. This was in my uh, first year of high school, second year of high school. And he said, and I said, but the scriptures, I'd read the Bible, the Torah, the Quran, I'd gone to the Manly P. Hall, um, library, the Egyptology, books of the dead, Urantia book, you name it, I read through them all, but none of them had this, the name of God either spelled right or pronounced right, and all those scriptures were written for people of an earlier time at a more primitive level. And I said, while I know they're from God and I can recognize that their revelation is authentic, they're still not for the people of the capacity of this time. And he said, well, what you're looking for is the most great name of God in the Baha'i faith, in the Baha'i scriptures. And he recommended the Book of Certitude and the Hidden Words and the Seven Valleys and the Four Valleys. The Seven Valleys or Four Valleys are the, for the male soul, the aggression to God and the, the gleanings is the tablet of the Hori or the Maid of Heaven, which we had to do with the highest station of a woman, which her potential capable is of. Most people think that it's uh, from a different world, the Hori, but the Hori is the, it can be any woman, it's the station of a woman's soul, uh, of, of her full magnificence. So um, it's one of my favorite. The high scriptures, which the you know, gleanings, which go say, Step out of thy holy chamber, O maid of heaven, and maid of the glorious paradise, and drape thyself in whatever manner pleaseth thee in the silken vesture of immortality, and put on in the name of the all glorious the silk embroidered robe of light. So, um, and it's quite lengthy. So, um, when I got the Book of Certitude, which was revealed in two days and two nights by Baha'u'llah, it's this thick. I stayed up for two days without sleeping, reading it, and by the, I was, I was a Baha'i instantly. I immediately recognized it was authentic, it was true, it was from God. And um, how I had been seeking it all out was because I had had a, an inspiration. All my muscles had turned to iron. I, was, I did a, a thought control experiment in my brain comparing uh, the smartest person on Earth to the smartest person in another solar system on another planet as far as I could away, as far as I could away from Earth, and um, and it worked. I figured out that a person's name, their language, harmonics, and the name of God is, uh, in the scriptures, is a brainwave pattern. It's the sound, uh, and it causes you to um, oscillate and cascade and go to and fro, fro and tremble and warble, and that's why they chant in the Middle East, you know, the scriptures. And so I spent my whole life studying all the, the mysticism, I became a mysticism scholar, uh, so in an effort for myself to try to decrypt and learn the precise mystic intonation of the most great name of God, because it teaches if you get that, you get the apex of consciousness, the secret of divine guidance. Um, it's the secret of immortality of the soul. And it's the source of um, life to the soul. Yay! Should I or shouldn't I? One more to balance it out? No, that one balances it out. Huh? That one pulverized?
So somebody came to look for your sister and you had a conversation with them. I just talked to him two days ago. We've been friends for over 40 years, give or take, my sophomore year of high school. And so the mathematics of the name of God, I couldn't pronounce it. I knew I wasn't saying it correctly. It's not said slowly. Baha, Baha, or Abha, or Abha. And a lot of people think by repetitious, idle repeti repetition that you accrued from it blessings or gifts or power. That's not how it works. And so um, I realized it must be said much differently. And that's how, from studying the scriptures and learning mysticism, that I discovered that the B, the point, the number two, that's the bottomless sea, the blackest of nights, it becomes almost like a V. It's breathed instead of being a, a, a bilibial fricative. Anyway, and then I applied all those numbers to electrical engineering, computer science. So I had, I took a circle, all in the, I guess within the first few weeks or months, I don't know. I instantly read all the Baha'i books. That's why I put the links to the Baha'i scriptures on my YouTube about page, on my channel, uh, um, which there's a link to it from MarcoRodin.com. And um, I would have read right now the Tablet of the Hori or the, uh, the Ode of the Dove or something, but they're very long. Not that long. I read it to Venus, my daughter, two nights ago out loud. My throat hurts a little though. So, um, but I took a circle, I couldn't say the name of God, I wanted to see what the number patterns were doing to get the syllables right. And so what I did, I don't know which one has T in it, it might be this one. No, only one does. So I then, um, wanted to see how light would be ricocheting inside a circle. So I took the one, the two, which is the B, to the one, which is the Aleph, the vowels, the breath, the Hamza, the glottal stop. And I then took the five, which is the H, the Ha, the garment, and the Ba is masculine, the Ha is feminine. Um, ha is uh, six, and the male is the Ba, which is three. And I connected the five to the one, and so I had two to one and five to one, and I had just two lines. And then I made a, a waveform inside the circle, just as like a pebble making ripples in a pond. And sure enough, I came out with this all in black solid lines, this Mobius, and this vector, three, nine, and six, or three and six opposite each other converging on the nine or vice versa, but they were, and that, after, and then 25 years later, I put together a team of superb engineers, that's a whole nother story, and they discovered that this is a flux field, the 396, and the 12475 is a coil. And it turns out, coils are everything, our body, our hair folding, DNA, protein, everything folds, it's a coil. And, I have the secret of the universe. And it turns out that DNA is palindrome, and the pilot wave, the 396, is pal palindrome. And so I wanted to devote my life to ending diseases, producing unlimited, unlimited food, because this you can do this with this key, this blueprint. It's child's play. Any miracle you can solve as far as um, live eternally, forever, not age. Um, not that it matters because there's probably more to do in the next world than this one, but it's not up to me to say, or no. But the thing is, is um, I found the God's anagram, and I was able to um, unlock everything in technology, from perfecting quantum mechanics and artificial intelligence. So now my work just has to be applied. Today, we were filming, and we were going to go over how my work's already been patented for those applications. 
even though the patent is, is actually fraudulent because you can't patent something like this. And I, it wasn't me who did it. It was from a director at Microsoft. But this really belongs to God, and this belongs to humanity. And this is a, a numerical, this is the, the numerical formula for spirit. And so, unless you claim that you are the fountainhead and you own spirit, which I don't think is going to hold up in court. Um, it belongs to all mankind. So, so now I'm sitting on this phenomenal breakthrough discovery. And who do I choose to share it with? Well, whoever has the most enthusiasm, most initiative, drive, perseverance. No, no, you can't have, can't, can't have rank jokes, no rank jokes allowed. Well, maybe we'll make a few exceptions. Um, and, and I do it in such a way is that then everybody can do whatever that serves themselves in humanity and, and God, because, and hopefully it'll be used for peace and positive things to heal. And I get to explain and share and talk about forever. But the work is so voluminous now that I, it's just, nobody has a clue. And I, and it's so much of a burden and responsibility on me and it's, it's just a mission impossible now to kind of share. I was just thinking of all the rough video footage, not by me, just even other people that I have on my hard drives of their inventions and discoveries. It's just too much. And that's still just, it's the tip of the iceberg. So how do you simplify it? Throw money at it. Anything works out. You can solve anything, just throw money at it. But obviously that's not what God has bequeathed us. What were you going to say? Well, Marco, when I first came across Vortex Mathematics uh, over eight years ago, one of the, the first thing like I even I even finish your lecture, Marco. I watched like two hours of it, and I immediately started playing with the math because the first thing I realized is the simplicity. The simplicity is profound, and that can be applied to so many sectors of study and, and across the board. And it's the simplicity, the foundation. So if it encompasses everything, what's the simplicity? That's right. Nobody. So everybody is literally blown out of the water by my work because it's so simple. See, I'm so lucky, like some of those endorsement letters, I remember one of them talks about how he, he couldn't even keep on reading when he was looking through my work. He had to go get a drink because he was in shock. It's, 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 it's blow away. It's awesome. But the thing is, um, what is my work? What is this thing? This is a, a language. It is a schematic. It is a blueprint. It is a guide. It is a, a building. Um, what would I say? A building. It is a um, instruction. It's it's an, an building instructions. We're still waiting on food. No, no, no. Still waiting on food. No, no. Don't let her go. What's your first name? Ivy. See, oh, I talked I got to her. you on the phone.